This is the 2023 Honda CRV, and right away, I'm going to encourage you not to get wrapped up in the rugged new design. There's plenty to talk about on that front, but this vehicle introduces broader, philosophical changes to the way that Honda is packaging its cars. And it introduces the kind of big ticket items that we expect on a redesign of a legendary vehicle like this one. Before we get into the 2023 CRV, be sure to like, follow, subscribe to MotorOne.com on all of your favorite social media platforms and check MotorOne.com for much more on this vehicle. Normally when an automaker redesigns a vehicle, we get wrapped up in the headlights and the grill and the things that catch your eye immediately. But what I wanna talk about here is much more substantial. I wanna talk about the A-pillars and the windshield and this door mirror. Honda pushed this entire affair back created a longer hood, and it stretched these door pillars a little bit more outboard. In addition to moving the mirrors from here on the pillar down to the door, it created better visibility from inside this car. You can really see a lot. And of course, it gives us this long hood. Now, this looks more like a traditional SUV than a crossover. You view it from the profile, it's boxy. The hood is long. There's a very, very clear two box shape. But Honda also contrasted it with this new revised front fascia. Yes, we are gonna get into this section now. These slim headlights and this angular chunky grill, they're much more mature and rugged and less of the, the mundane, which is what we kind of saw on the last CRV. This is a much more expressive front end. And I gotta say, I really like the work that's done. I kind of wish Honda had been as expressive at the back. You've got the same broad shape of the taillights. They have some new LED accents, but by and large, that's all you're really getting back there. Overall, this vehicle is longer. It's about four inches longer and the wheelbase is stretched too, so it should be roomier inside. And as I said, it's definitely better proportioned. Welcome to the interior of the Honda Civic. No, I'm just kidding. This is the CRV, but the, the Civicization of the Honda lineup continues apace. If you look in here, the, the dominating feature is this new honeycomb design taken from the Civic that covers up the vents. You have these fun little nozzles here for adjusting them. It all looks very cool, but it's not quite as fresh as it was a couple years ago when Honda introduced it on the Civic. What is fresh is this nine inch touchscreen infotainment system. Now this runs the same operating system as Civic and Accord and some other new Honda products. And that means it has wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. But you only get this display on the EXL, which is a gas model, and this trim, the Sport Touring Hybrid. What you'll get on the EX and Sport is a seven inch display that has a wired connection for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Now I would go with the Ritzier trim simply because I like the features but you also get a USB-A and a USB-C port for the front seat passengers on the EXL and the Sport Touring. In back, you have two USB-A ports. On both trims, you have a semi-digital instrument cluster. So there's a physical speedometer and then a sizable little display for the tack and some other information. But what's really good is the impact of Honda's decision to adjust the A-pillars and go with that longer hood. We have a much more open, airy feeling cabin. This front glass is huge. And with the door mirrors down here instead of right here, I have better visibility out to the sides. This just feels like a much more open and welcoming place when you can see everything that's happening in front of you. If you're buying a compact crossover, versatility is probably pretty high on your shopping list. And thankfully the CRV is very roomy inside. There is 36.3 cubic feet of space in this model. And if you fold the back seats down, that expands to 76.5 cubic feet. But if you want the most room, you buy the gas model because that has a removable floor that expands the space to 39.6 cubic feet. This one, that's where the battery lives on the hybrid. So no removable floor. Under the hood, a new hybrid powertrain takes over the top dog position. Only available with the Sport and Sport Touring trims, Honda claims the 2.0-liter Atkinson Cycle 4-cylinder and twin electric motor setup, while similar in configuration to last year's CRV, is all new. Combined system output is 204 horsepower and 247 pound-feet of torque versus 212 and 232 for last year's car. Honda says the top speed is up from 86 to 115 miles per hour and the max towing capacity is crested 1,000 pounds. The base turbocharged 1.5 liter engine still produces 190 horsepower and 179 pound-feet of torque in the EX and EXL. 
but Honda says it replaced the turbocharger and exhaust port cylinder head for improved refinement and to provide peak torque slightly earlier in the rev range. Honda updated the CVT with a focus on noise, vibration, and harshness, while the available all-wheel drive system can now send up to 50% of its torque to the rear axle. Every 2023 CRV carries the Honda Sensing Active Safety Suite standard. Honda is also adding traffic jam assist, rear automatic emergency braking, and traffic sign recognition for the first time, while blind spot monitoring is now standard across the lineup. Engineers also retune the existing systems, such as adaptive cruise control and lane keep assist for more natural manners while allowing the whole system to see better thanks to a new wide angle camera and radar system. The 2023 Honda CRV goes on sale later this year, but that's only for this gas powered model. If you want this hybrid powered model, you're gonna be waiting until later on in 2022. We'll have pricing and fuel economy on both vehicles ahead of their on-sale date. But what's clear right now is that by moving the electrified version of the CRV to the fore, Honda is placing a new emphasis on its bread and butter crossover. For much more on both of these vehicles, be sure to check out MotorOne.com.